students myself dr nayan talukdar and we will now study one of your physics practical how to determine the focal length of a convex lens by displacement method and hence to determine the power of the lens so before going to the theory you should know what is displacement method the displacement method is a method in which a convex lens is placed in between uh, in between the object that is p1 and the image that is p2 with the same distance between the object and the image the lens is moved towards the screen that is p2 until a clear image is obtained on the screen so this is known as the displacement method now if the distance between an object and a screen be greater than the four times the focal length of a convex lens then there will be two position of the lens keeping object and screen position being fixed for which sharp images of the object will be formed on the screen now if x is the distance between uh, distance between these two position of the lens that is uh, that is the first position o1 and the second position o2 and capital d be the distance between object pin p1 and the image pin p2 then the focal length uh, focal length of the lens is given by the relation f equal to d square minus x square by 4d so by if, um, uh, so by evaluating the focal length f we can easily determine the power p of the lens by using the formula p equal to plus 100 by f here positive sign represents that we are using the converging lens so here is the experimental setup uh, the apparatus required for the uh, experiment is one optical lens two pin stand out of which one is used as object pin and other is used as image pin one lens stand and one convex lens so here the figure one represents the ray diagram with p1 uh, as the object uh, pin and p2 is the image pin here o1 is the first position of the lens and o2 is the second position of the lens so x is the distance between o1 and o2 and capital d is the distance between uh, object pin and the image pin figure 2 rep represent the optical bands with the first position of the lens uh, that is o1 as i uh, as i uh, explained in the ray diagram and figure 3 represents the optical bands with the second positions of the lens that is o2 so now let's do the experiment as i told in the introduction that this is the optical lens this is the image pin this is the object pin and this is the lens holder and now fix the lens in the lens holder tightly <coughs> now bring the image pin object pin and the lens holder close to each other now adjust the two pin and the lens holder in such a way that the tips of the pin and the optic center of the lens lie in a straight line parallel to the optical bands now fix the image pin uh, object pin at one end of the optical bands tightly and uh, note down the readings of the position and make sure that it is uh, fixed tightly now bring the lens holder near the object pin and uh, keep it here now bring the image pin to other end of the optical bands and note down the position and fix it tightly now move the lens uh, holder from the object pin towards the image pin and see the image over the image pin now again move the lens holder uh, to the image pin and see the image now uh, you can see a sharp image of the object pin over the image pin through the lens 
you can see that image of the object pin now note down the position of the lens in the optical bands this is the reading of the lens shoulder and this position is O1 as I told, uh, told uh, in the ray diagram now observing just over the image pin move the lens holder towards the image pin again so for another position of the lens you will see another uh, sharp image of smaller size over the image pin so you can see now the another smaller image of the object over the image pin you can see you can see a smaller image over the image pin now you can see that there is a difference between the object yeah object pin and the image pin see you you you, you see that uh, the tip of the image pin and object pin are not uh, coincide so you have to make the make it uh, similar so you can see now you can adjust the screw of the lens holder and make it parallel to each other so this is called parallax and you, uh, you you should correct the parallax error now note down the uh, position of the lens holder and this is the position O2 as I told you in the red diagram so in the similar way you just do the experiment by varying the object uh, this uh, object pin uh, position and image pin position and uh, uh, and uh, you, uh, uh, you you have to take the three readings in three different position now remove the lens holder bring the object pin and the image pin close to each other so in the similar way you just do the experiment for uh, three different times by varying the object position by varying the optic position and the image uh, pin position and you have to do the three different readings now remove the lens holder from the optical bands so the next important thing of the experiment is the index correction so for the index correction bring the object pin and the image pin uh, the object pin and the image pin close to each other now there may be one possibility that distance between the tip of the object pin and the image pin may differ from the position of their optical bands reading so we have to do the index correction for that uh, for that take a scale and take the readings between the tip of the object pin and the image pin and take the readings of the optical bands reading and subtract it from the optical bands reading so tip reading and uh, subtract it from the optical bands reading and we get the uh, actual length so next we will discuss the readings of the experiment so now let's uh, come to the results and discussions so as i told in the experiment this is the <coughs> measurement for uh, index correction here it is the actual length of the rod l that is uh, the distance uh, that is the measurement between the tip of the object pin and the image pin this is the apparent length of the rod l this that is uh, the readings uh, you have taken from the optical band scale and this is the corrected value of d that is d plus l minus l so uh, this is the corrected value of d so uh, in this table you have to put the 
different uh, measurements you have taken from the experiment so this is the value of the here uh, this one the object pin p1 position of the object pin p1 you have to uh, get it from the optical band scale here this is the image pin p2 so you have taken this reading from the optical band scale and d equal to p1 minus p2 so uh, here this is the first position of the lens that is o1 and this is the second position of the lens that is o2 and we have get the value of x that is uh, the value uh, of uh, uh, the distance between the two position of the lens o1 minus o2 so in this way you have to take uh, three sets of data and you have to find out the mean values and after that putting these values in this formula f equal to d square minus x square by 4d we have uh, got the focal length of the lens and after that finding out the f, f focal length uh, we use the formula for power of the lens that is p equal to plus 100 by f and we will get the value of power so that's all about the experiment hope uh, you have understood the experiment thank you